Hi, Tracy. I'm going to go ahead and freshen my starter again right now, so I'm going to show you what I do. Uh, I've already thrown away, you saw a picture of this dish, I've already thrown half of it away, and it's in this bowl, right? So this is the digital scale that I use right here. And I like this digital scale because I can zero it out, right? So I'm going to put this on here. And right now it's 696, but I'm going to zero it out. And then I'm going to put in 200 grams of water. All right, so there's 200 grams of water. And after you put the water with the starter, you should mix that up. Because if you've got the thick starter and the water and then you put the flour in here, it's hard to get it to all mix up real well. So just take and uh, mix the starter with the water. Only takes a second. Get that all mixed up. You also should have a rubber spatula if you don't already have one. This is a good tool for making bread. All right, so mix the water with the starter. Then I'm going to zero out the scale again. I showed I had 199 grams of water. Just hit zero. And now I'm going to put in close to 200 grams of flour. All right, so I got 200 grams of flour. And then you're just gonna mix this up. And that's all, like I said a few times, that's all that's in here is flour and water. And because it's starter and it's fermented, it has the bacteria in it. The bacteria is gonna eat the starch in the flour. And that's what's gonna make it rise up. It's gonna act just like it had yeast in it, but there's no yeast in here. Mix this up good. And you should be using, you know, pretty close to equal amounts of flour and water. But right now, this is thicker than I want, right? I don't want it that thick. So I'm gonna add just a little more water. Yeah, this is what you want right here. And after you mix this and you see how it acts and, um, you know, how it gets bigger, and you'll, you'll just get to know what the, what's the right consistency of it. It should be kind of like a loose pudding. And that's all you got to do to feed your starter. Then I'm going to put it in here. This is the same thing I did this morning. And then in like two to three hours, it'll completely fill this dish. You can see the dishes right there now. And in two or three hours, this dish will be right up full to the top. And when it gets... <laughs> God, damn.